There is a tremendous transformation already underway in the energy sector. Our challenge is to meet the energy needs of a planet with another 2 billion people by 2050. At the same time, we have to reduce CO2 emissions in half by transitioning to a more sustainable energy system. There are three major trends that will put greater stress on our resources and the environment. That's population growth, it's rapid urbanization, and an expanding middle class in many developing countries. This has implications for water use, land use, and food as well. These systems are highly interrelated. This transformation is in the early stages. The global energy mix tends to evolve slowly. But now is when government, business and society need to address it in a serious and intelligent way. Technology is changing some dynamics of the energy industry and giving us more options. For example, there is the boom in production of what we call unconventional gas in North America. A decade ago, the industry considered this gas too difficult and costly to get at. But major progress in drilling, fracturing rock and reservoir knowledge has allowed us to tap in profitably and safely. When combined with vast natural gas reserves in Russia and growth in China, Australia and Qatar, it's clear gas will play a larger role in our energy mix in the coming decades. Of course, the advantage of gas is it's environmentally acceptable, abundant and affordable. And gas is a great ally to wind and solar power. We have talked a lot within Shell about how to foster innovation, as that will be a key to meeting the future energy challenge. It obviously has to be part of an organization's culture. You need to give people permission to fail, to take intelligent risk. As leaders, we need to have a clear understanding of the capabilities and limitations of the organization. It is also our job to make sure our organizations are focused, that people know what the end goal is, so that they are all working in the same direction. Focus and innovation go hand in hand. It's clear that we are not going to meet the future energy challenge unless the leadership triangle of industry, government and society can begin to address the fundamental issues. Right now, there seems to be no common will to act, no spirit of global cooperation. Without political leadership, we, in the industry, need to move ahead to make resources available and take intelligent risks on new technologies and approaches. We also need to work closely with stakeholders to ensure we are taking the appropriate precautions to protect the environment and fully consider the impact of our operations. I still think about my first Davos summit 10 years ago. Of course, you don't know what's going to happen. But then you realize how many interesting people come together from industry, politics and civil society. Really the experience of bumping into people for a 10 minute conversation that has a purpose. That's why it is great to return to Davos every year. I think Davos will remain an important meeting point for the world's leaders. Thank you.